What up, what up? So, Alaska, one of my favorite tunes. This uses a bunch of dominance, which means when we solo on this, we could use the mixolydian. It has a flat seventh. In the key of E, we remove the third finger. So we have that openness, and then I lay down my pinky to get that D note over the top of it. I've got E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and then D sharp. D sharp is my Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T. But I'm using my flat seven, so I've got a Ta. And that open seven makes that in the E form. But we're doing this in C, so... A, B flat, B, C. What I do instead of playing a C, E, G, like a C major triad, I quite literally play a backwards triangle. Now, if you play a D major, you know a D major seven, and know a D dominant seven, we can do that with every chord. Some songs like Something in the way. C major, she moves. C major seven with that B in there, B flat makes it a dominant seven. So in the key of G, or D rather, we'd have D, we'd take this D note and move it down to an F sharp to get the D major seven, then the F goes to an F for the D dominant seven. So what happens when we're playing Alaska, instead of having C major, and we have this note right here, the C, we go down a half step, which goes to a B, or a C flat, and then we get a B flat, which means we've got... Now you can play the bar chord where you bar the whole damn thing and then you play what looks to be like an A major, except you're doing the A7. A major, this is the A note, C sharp, A, E. When we move the A down to an A flat, we get a A major seven. So that shape that we're looking at right there, that A major seven, which is a D seven, A major seven, B seven, scoot that sucker up to the uh, third fret and you get your C major seven. If you put your pinky down here on the uh, B or the E string at the third fret, we're gonna get a C dominant seven with a nine, and maybe even a thirteenth on there if you want. But that's the chord we're using for in Alaska. That top note. So this is like our F major, which looks like our E major in a second fingering, but we scoot it up, bar the first fret, and then once again, we get rid of that pinky, which allows that note, which is on an F, to go do an F to an F flat to a E sharp or a D sharp, E flat or D sharp, which means we have a F dominant seven. So that C dominant seven... This is a great one. You're going to take this C7 to a C sharp 7 to a D7 to an E flat major all the way back. So we're going to have this. It's a great movement. So watch this. playing the G major and we wanted a G major 7, we would have the 1, 3, 5. If we wanted the major 7, we'd have the 1, 3, 5 triad, but we would take the G and make it an F sharp, giving us that awesome kind of hanging above the head. Since we're not doing a G major in this song at all, we're not going to be doing any Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, T. We're going to avoid that 7th like the plague and do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ta. So a flat 7th every single time <clears throat> gives us that groove. Here's what it looks like in its, total, in, total, in its totality. Um, Alaska, Alaska, stay right here in Alaska. Just sit down and have fun. Here in the land of the midnight sun. Is it C major, set, dominant seven with the ninth, 
to an E dominant seven, that E open with the D, and then to an F major, up to the G seven. G, that's that C again. The only weirdness that is in the song is when they have this C and it goes to a B major, just when I thought they'd come along, to an E major, to an A major, it's going to be going to a weird chord here. That chord is a B flat diminished. What it has is it has a B flat in it. It has an E in it, a B flat in it, and an E in it. Those are the only two notes. So if you do some sort of run, you could have that B major at the 7th fret go down and play the same kind of bar chord you were at the 7th fret. But instead of playing your E major here, just move all your fingers up another string and another fret, meaning first finger, sixth fret, lowest string. Second finger, seventh fret, A string. Third finger, D string at the na -na 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 eighth fret, and then at the ninth fret, the pinky. You can see that weird kind of uh, diminished sound. That's what we're gonna be using. Here's what it looks like. Should make a take a call? Well, I can't see no moves. Alaska, I think I'll try Alaska. I'm all settled down and I'm having fun. Here in the land of the midnight sun, is it time to call the pastor? I don't know, Alaska. I'll stay right here, I'll stay right here. And the end of it has this jam which goes just the G to the F over and over. G major 7. G7. So we're staying away from that T. So when we do our do re mi fa so la ta, it's gonna be a flat seventh on every one of these. The soloing preference that you would have in that G to F, because it is a whole step away and not a half step. You can't do Phrygian. You can't do minors like the Dorian. You can't do Aeolian. Aeolian has that flat seven, but it just doesn't really work. The only one that really works with this is that Mixolydian, the uh, the fifth. Do re mi fa so la ta do with a flat seven. Okay, this song is great. When it gets to that C seven, dum dum dum, ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba B major. Just when I thought it'd come along, E major, A. Then uh, what is that? B diminished. Then back into the C. Another verse. Hope that helps. Listen to the recording too, and I would love to jam this tune. It's relatively simple, but when you put all the parts together, it is kind of complicated. The real caveat is when you get all the way to the end and you just could jam on that G, G, F, G, F, F sharp, G, that half step movement. I just love it because it leads to a lot of creativity. Anyway, I hope this helps. Aloha.